Meghan Markle was once ordered to take off her engagement ring to avoid paparazzi breaking the news she had gotten engaged, former co-star Wendell Pierce revealed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their engagement in September 2017 after dating for nearly two years. But in the run-up to the engagement, rumors of the couple preparing to tie the knot was rife and forced the then-actress to take extra security steps to keep news of the nuptials breaking. Meghan Markle's former Suits co-star Wendell Pierce revealed the then-actress was once ordered to remove a fake engagement ring before leaving her car to keep paparazzi from taking pictures of the prop and sparking a frenzy among royal fans. Speaking to KTLA5, Mr. Pierce said, I didn't think it was happening and then one day, on the set, there was an MI5 guy. There was this MI5 guy on set so I said, well, this must be serious. They sent someone over. Then one time, we were doing a scene before they got engaged where she was engaged with Mike on the show and they said, wait, don't get out of the car. He added, they said, give us the ring because there's a paparazzi down the street. And if the photo got out with the ring. The actor also said he had prepared to tell Prince Harry to treat his pretend daughter well but was unable to chat with the royal during his visit on set. He added, he came to set one time, the prince, I didn't get the chance to see him. But I was ready to tell him, as the TV dad, you know, you break her heart, I was really going to say that but then I didn't get the chance. Following her engagement with Prince Harry, Meghan Markle retired from her acting career and moved to the United Kingdom permanently. The couple married at St. George's Chapel, in Windsor, on May 19. 2018 and later moved to Frogmore Cottage before welcoming their first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, in May 2019. The Duchess of Sussex has since become a patron to several charities, including the National Theatre and the Association of Commonwealth Universities she inherited directly from the Queen. And earlier this week Meghan made her return to royal duty after her six-month maternity leave to launch a new capsule collection to raise funds for Smart Works, a charity helping women seek employment the Duchess supports. Speaking at the event, Meghan said, I think it's really key in this day and age that we remember it's not just about the people you know you're supporting, it's about the people you don't know that you may never know, may never meet. As women, it is 100% our responsibility, I think, to support and uplift each other. To champion each other so we aim to succeed, to not set each other up for failure but instead to really be there rallying round each other and say I want to help you. And you may not ever meet that person but you know when you put on that blazer or that shirt or you carry that tote or put on those trousers and that dress that some other woman on the other side of this country is wearing that piece because you made that purchase. The Duchess was later spotted chatting to attendees before dashing off home to feed Archie. She was heard saying, I've got to get back to the baby, it's feed time. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's fierce bid for privacy despite their high-profile status has ruffled some feathers. A royal biographer has claimed to know the tragic truth behind their wish to stay out of the public eye. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have faced fierce scrutiny following the string of private jets they took on holiday with their son Archie Harrison this summer. While the royals have been dealt flack for their celebrity lifestyle their wish for privacy may be motivated by this heartbreaking truth. A new special on America's 60 Minutes show explores Meghan and Harry's position with the British royal family. A royal biographer and former confidant of Harry's late mother, Princess Diana, has claimed Meghan is subject to the same hysteria as her late mother-in-law. Speaking on the show royal expert and author Andrew Morton said, there was a kind of hysteria surrounding Diana and there's the same kind of hysteria surrounding Meghan. She's been objectified, that is to say people don't think of her as a human being anymore, people just think they can lash and be as unpleasant about her as they possibly can. Mr. Morton defended Meghan saying he would give her her high marks for how she is coping in her new royal role. He said, this is a girl who's just had a baby, who is just starting a new career, just starting a new world with Prince Harry and I would give her high marks for the way she interacts with the public, for the way she's really hit the ground running. Princess Diana withdrew from public life in 1993 after the frenzy around her became unbearable. 
Mr. Morton fears Meghan and Harry could end up following in Diana's footsteps, he said. You do feel Meghan and Harry could say we have had enough of this, we'll just go off and live our lives. It's like a summer storm, it's erupted and it's exactly the same with Diana. When she was having her relationship with Dodie Faye there was a kind of hysteria that built up and it was symbolized by that fateful night in Paris when she died that there were thunderstorms, it was sultry, it was moody and I feel that very much now with Meghan, it feels very sultry, very moody, and we're seeing the thunderstorm. The 60 Minutes presenter Carl Stefanovic then interjects Mr. Morton and says, we don't want what happened to Diana to happen to anyone else. To which Mr. Morton responds with this heartbreaking claim about why Meghan and Harry want privacy. Mr. Morton says, well of course not, this is why Harry and Meghan do try and keep a level of privacy. They don't want to be harassed and confronted in airports as Diana was and we all think private plane, how marvelous. Yet what was Diana's last flight? It was on a private jet to Paris. Meghan and Harry have made it clear they are not afraid to do things differently and their transatlantic romance means they have a huge global audience. Mr. Morton advised Meghan to ignore the criticism and to keep on trucking. He said, Prince Charles has gone through worse, Prince Philip has gone through worse, they will all be saying to her chin up, look straight ahead and just get on with it. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will take baby Archie with them on a 10 tour of Africa later this month. The trip is expected to be the first time Archie Harrison will be introduced to royal fans out and about in public.